Hi, my name is Ricky Scruggs with Centerfield Baseball Academy in Tucson, Arizona, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about how to play first base. If you want to play first base, you need two things, and I'm not joking. One is, it's a good idea to have a first baseman's mitt. The second thing is, is you need to be able to hit. Step one in playing first base is to really know your range. You've got to be able to play deep enough to give yourself uh, room to move, but you have to be able to get to first base on time. When receiving the ball, it's important to square your shoulders to the person throwing you the ball and to put both heels on the inside half of the bag. The outside half of the bag belongs to the runner. If you don't want to get spiked, we don't want to put our foot on the inside half of the bag. So start with two heels on the bag. We do not want to start this way because if there's a bad throw, either one way or the other, I'm not in an athletic position to field that. So the same as hitting, uh, fielding, anything, I want to be in an athletic position with my knees bent ready to jump, looking and expecting a bad throw, and my shoulders square to the to person pit throwing it. Third step would be to wait. Just like hitting, I need to see the ball out of the shortstop or the second baseman's hand, because a lot of times there's movement, a lot of times the ball's not where it is. So what I don't want, I don't want to stride too soon and then find out that the throw's going left or right. So I'm going to really wait until I see the ball out of his hand, and I'm going to stride with my glove side foot, because that gets me farther, and I'm going to step and catch right on time. Once again, this was Ricky Scruggs with Centerfield Baseball Academy, and those are some tips on how to play first base.